Sansa encounters Ilan while out walking as they are traveling with the king's procession back to King's Landing, and is startled by his appearance. Sansa apologizes to Ilan for possibly offending him, but receives no reply. The Hound informs her that Ilan had his tongue removed years ago by the Mad King and now serves as the king's executioner. Ilan is later ordered to kill Sansa's direwolf lady by Queen Cersei as revenge for Nymeria, who acted in defense of Arya, attacking Joffrey. Ned insists on carrying out the sentence himself instead. Following King Robert's death, Ilan serves Joffrey. Eddard is led before the people outside the Great Sept of Baelor and confesses to treason. Joffrey tells the crowd that both Sansa and his mother have asked that Ned be sent to Castle Black as a punishment. To the surprise of all, however, Joffrey suddenly proclaims that they have the soft hearts of women, and promises that, during his reign, treason will be punished, he orders Ilan to bring him Ned's head. Ilan takes House Stark's ancestral sword, ice, and beheads Ned with one swift stroke. Marillion is brought before Joffrey because he wrote a song mocking Robert and Cersei. As a punishment, Joffrey orders Ilan to, ironically, cut out Marillion's tongue. 